As long as I don't bring my ladybugs through those doors, they're not gonna stop me. Apparently this is where they drew the line, right at those doors. So I'm releasing ladybugs just at the tree here. Cause that's what I do, oh yeah. I release ladybugs every Tuesday at four. Till we stop the war, oh yeah. Ladybugs. Gonna run around that federal building. Gonna tell them what's up, yeah. Go it's mad mayhem over here at Ladybug Central, here at the Federal Building where I've released over a thousand ladybugs to tell the Federal Building, to tell the Federal Government to stop bugging me. Whoa, would you look at all them ladybugs, they're running around the Federal Building, oh yeah. Don't let anyone tell you different, I love this flag, I love the American flag, not all these weird blacked out looking blue line down the middle flags that are coming up the big fight about the Confederate flag itself and everything it represents. This is an emergency in America. We need to fix this now. We do. Write me in. That's all I can say. Everyone writes me in and then I'm president and then I fix everything. What do you want me to do? And I yell at this federal building behind me, not because I'm separate from it, but because it's mine. It's yours. Unless you're watching this from out of the country, in which case, you're probably gung-ho about the idea of stopping the corporate takeover of America. The corporate takeover, we're, we're supposed to say things, what they are, what's happening if you vote for either Hillary or Trump. Hillary and Trump are the corporate candidates. If you vote for them, it's just going to get worse. So, of all the other choices you have, what are you going to do? You can't vote for them. What are you going to do? You're going to write somebody in, aren't you? Go, go, Frank Barish, oh yeah, everybody write in Frank Barish, oh yeah. Ready? Yes. Frank for president, not. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you. I worry about my daughter's future. Thank you, Daddy. You guys need to write in Frank Barish, oh yeah. I know it, you know it. We all know this country's in trouble. That's why surfers will write in Frank Barish for president. You guys ready? Here he comes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we love you, Frankie B. Yeah, we do. We love you, Frank. Thanks. This has been the economic policy of this country for far too long. Write me in and I'll fix it. This bee is dying. Why? Hillary Clinton's not going to stand up to the companies that are killing our bees. I will. I'm at the federal building ranting about the government. Our government. I'm just speaking to Americans now. The rest of you can sit this one out. Just get some popcorn. Every week I'm going to come here at 4 on Tuesday. Because the slogan is every Tuesday at 4 until we stop the war. I'm yelling at this building. It deserves to be yelled at. It's doing horrible things, and I want it to stop. It's that simple. So anyway, some of these ladybugs are stuck at the top of the bag. I think I might shake them out, let them know they can go free. Hey guys, go free. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Oh, and here comes guy number one. What's that, son? I have no smokes. I got no smokes, brother. Huh? I do not smoke the cigarette, sir. Sorry. I wish you best of luck in your endeavor, though. I don't know what that is. Babylon? The, tree, the trees of Babylon. Babylon. The tree of what? Eucalyptus trees? Babylon? All right, then. Good luck with your cigarette. I don't smoke. No, no, I don't want one. Thank you anyway. All right, that's interaction number one. Where'd it go? Yeah, there it goes, down the, down the way. Let's really actually stop it because this is the end. This is where we draw the line, is at the TPP, taking away democracy completely. Done with that. Obama pretended he was a liberal and he's doing the same thing the Clintons did. Sold out the economy. And Donald Trump is the wrong guy to go against her because he's a raving racist lunatic. So what if there was a third option? What if there was a way you could tell the system? Ah! What if there's a way you could tell the system? Ah! What would you do? Well, on election day, you could write in Frank Barish. You could do that. They do their thing. They do their thing, man. They fight mosquitoes. They fight mosquitoes. They eat mosquitoes. Mosquitoes were like 
meals for them and they don't like the taste of humans. That's what I like about ladybugs. They do not like the taste of humans whatsoever. We disgust them. So I set them free and they eat the mosquitoes and the mosquitoes don't bite us. That's what I do. I'm like, like the Johnny Appleseed of, uh, I'm like the Johnny Appleseed of ladybugs. <laughs> All right, federal building. I'm gonna call it a day. Ladybugs have been dispersed. I've yelled at you about the TPP. But you at home, I mean, you can watch me every week come here and yell at the federal building. But something you have to do if you want to stop the TPP, this is one simple thing. You call your senator and you call your congressman. You ask their office, do you support the TPP? If they say yes, you start yelling. No, no, don't yell. You give them a stern reprimand for their corporate sellout vote which is the end of democracy. The TPP is the end of democracy. 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 Oh, yeah, it is. The TPP is the end of democracy. Let's make it go away. Don't let your senator and your congressperson vote for it. Don't let them. Just don't let them. It's that simple. They're going to do it if they're a corporate sellout. You got to make them go, holy shit. I don't want to piss off the people who actually voted for me. Oh, yeah. That's what you got to do. That song right there, that song is how we stop the TPP, basically. Let's do this. The TPP is the end of democracy. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. They're slowly dispersing amongst the trees and they're gonna look for yummy mosquitoes and they won't find any so they're gonna fly over there and then kill mosquitoes over there and then they'll spread and they'll have offspring and San Diego will be protected from the Zika virus and just itchy mosquito bites You know what Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump have in common? What, Lord? They'll both start World War III. <laughs> it's not funny.